everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. I am super excited to be bringing you another set guide and review. This one is going to be for the uber popular 2022 Topps Chrome release. It's a chromium set. It's got tons of rookies. It's got tons of autos. But does the set live up to the hype? Is it worth the price tag? We're going to answer all that and more. Plus, I'm going to tell you how you can win free jumbo packs from two. Yeah, that's right, two HTA jumbo boxes. So let's jump right in to the One Cent Sports Cards 2022 Topps Chrome Set Guide and Review. So Topps Chrome is coming out a little bit later than it normally does in the card collecting season, but we finally get the drop this Friday. And what we do in these set guides and reviews is try and find out how good 2022 Topps Chrome really is. We do that by using the exclusive one cent sensational set rating, which is the most in-depth rating system you're going to find anywhere on the internet. And to celebrate the release of Topps Chrome, I've teamed up with Whatnot to do my first ever stream on the app. What's more, Whatnot is letting me give away every pack from not one, but two Chrome Jumbo Boxes absolutely free. It's happening Wednesday, September 21st at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific. And to get in on the live stream is super simple. Here's all you gotta do. Click the invite link in the video description below. When you do, here's what happens. Whatnot is gonna give you 10 bucks just to use on their app. So you've already won something, but you gotta use the video link in the description to get that 10 bucks. Then what you wanna do is bookmark the live stream so you don't miss out on the giveaway. There's a link to the live stream video in the description below. And of course, you'll wanna follow me on Whatnot. The channel name is one underscore cent underscore SC. And then all you gotta do is tune in on September 21st. Super simple, and I'm confident you're gonna enjoy the app. Whatnot, if you're a seller, collector, investor of baseball cards, sports cards, gaming cards, whatever, you need to be on Whatnot. Every day there's thousands of auctions, breaks, sales, singles, sealed wax, vintage, modern, you name it, they got it and it's there 24 seven. Personally, I like the sudden death single auctions and the other thing I like is Whatnot ensures only quality sellers are on the app. They ship fast, their customer service is legit and it's an overall great experience for buyers. So be sure to be there on Wednesday, September 21st, but in the meantime, Let's find out if Topps Chrome lives up to the hype. Here's what we're gonna be covering off on today. We're gonna start with the set highlights, the overall 10,000 foot view of what Topps Chrome is offering. Then we're gonna get into the buying formats you can get it in. I'm gonna tell you what the key cards are, gonna tell you what the parallels, inserts, relics, and autos are, and I'm even gonna give you six teams that I would recommend getting into for breaks. And I'll give you a break team cheat cheat, which is gonna tell you how good all 30 teams are. And that's what brings us to our one cent sensational set rating, where we find out how good 2022 Topps Chrome really is. And we'll wrap it all up by showing you how Topps Chrome ranks with all of the other sets that have been released so far in the 2022 card collecting season. And finally, one more thing before we begin. Be sure to throw over to first and hit that like button for me. And if you like these review videos, you got to subscribe. If you want to be the first to see them, hit that bell notification for me. And if you haven't done so already, check out my Patreon page. That's how you get into breaks. That's where you get monthly break credits. That's where you get Discord community access and so much more. You can join for as little as two bucks. And there is a link to my Patreon page in the video description below, along with those links for how to get in on the whatnot giveaway. So let's begin. 2022 Topps Chrome. First thing you need to know, it's a popular Chromium set with lots of parallels and rookie card autos. It's in its 27th year of production, started way back in 1996 and hasn't stopped since. 
It is available in hobby and retail locations in all sorts of different formats. This year, we get a 225 card base set checklist. Now cards number 221 through 225 are base set SPs and you are gonna wanna get in on those. It has always been a rookie heavy set that also features veteran stars in the major leagues. This year, we got a 25 color base set parallel rainbow with additional colors that are likely going to be available in certain retail formats and stuff like that. This year, we also get base set image variations in a five color parallel rainbow. And we also have super short prints available. You do get two autos per hobby box and five autos per HTA jumbo box, which has been kind of the format for the last few years. And we have four new inserts for 2022. We've got the 1987 Topps Baseball. We've got new classics, Pinstriped, and Heart of the City. We also have veteran autos showing up for the first time in 2022 as well. Topps Chrome Authentics is a new relic that is available in 2022. And what's even cooler, you can get an autoed version. So what are the different buying formats that we can get Topps Chrome in? Well, we'll start with hobby and we can get a hobby case. Right now, that's gonna give you 12 box per case, 24 packs per box, four cards per pack. So that gets you 1,152 total cards. Current online price, they're kind of all over the place right now, but I'm given a $4,750 price. So that gets you a cost per card of around $4.12. What you're guaranteed to get? 24 autos, 96 refractors, 48 prism refractors, and 96 inserts. You can also drop down to the hobby box. That's going to have 24 packs per box, four cards per pack, 96 total cards, going for about 400 bucks online right now. So your cost per card creeps up to $4.17. You get two autos, eight refractors, and four prism refractors. You can also get an HTA jumbo case. That's going to have eight boxes per case. 12 packs per box, 13 cards per pack for a total of 1,248 total cards. Current online price hovering around seven grand, although I've seen it a little bit lower in some places. Your cost per card gonna be $5.61, so it comes up, but you do get 40 autos and 96 refractors out of the jumbo case. If you wanna get a jumbo box, this is what I'm gonna be giving away on whatnot. Here's what's in those. You've got 12 packs per box, 13 cards per pack for a total of 156 total cards. Current online price, $880. You can find it maybe a little bit lower in some places. So your cost per card going to be $5.64. You're guaranteed to get five autos and 12 different refractors. There's also a light box, which was showing on Topps social media accounts, which should be available, but there has been nothing really released. But in the box that they showed on their Twitter account and on their Instagram account, it did show that four black and white mini diamond refractors would be available. So be on the lookout for that. There's also retail format. Let's cover off on that. There should be a mega box this year, gonna be 10 packs per box, five cards per pack for 50 total cards. I'm estimating that those are gonna be around 60 bucks, so a cost per card of $1.20, and you're guaranteed to get 10 X-Fractor Parallels. That's gonna be a really popular box if you can get it. You also got the Blaster Box. You can see what that looks like over there on the right. That's gonna have eight packs per box, four cards per pack, 32 total cards, should cost you around 35 to 40 bucks. So your cost per card, $1.25, and you're guaranteed to get four sepia or pink refractors in the box. There's also hanger boxes, five packs per box, four cards per pack, 20 total cards, should be around 20 bucks, maybe a little bit higher than that. Cost per card of around $1, so that's gonna be your lowest cost per card out of any of the formats. Solo packs may be available this year. They weren't available last year, but they have been in the past, so be on the lookout for those. And of course, individual gravity feed packs should also be available. And it's very possible additional formats are gonna be available depending on what retail location you are in. So what are the key cards we're gonna be chasing? Well, let's start with the key rookies, which is a very important part of 2022 Topps Chrome. We have Lars Newbar, 
my favorite name of all the rookies in 2022. Of course, Wander Franco's in the set. We've got Reed Detmers, Josh Lowe, Jaron Duran, O'Neal Cruz, Brandon Marsh, Vidal Brujan, Shane Baz, and we've got the SPs. We've got Bobby Witt Jr., Julio Rodriguez, Spencer Torkelson, Hunter Green, and C.J. Abrams. Those are those high number short print cards. I think we're going to see these cards more than we did in Top Series 2. I believe you'll probably see them fairly regularly, but those are going to be big chase cards in 2022 Tops Chrome. So speaking of those other key cards, we've got the parallels, inserts, autos, and relics. Obviously, those rookie base parallels with, that have the numbers and the very colorful ones, those are always sought after. Those base set image variations are also going to be real popular. And of course, we've got the super short print variations. Going to be awesome if you can pull one of those. Going to be pretty tough pulls. We've got the pinstriped inserts and autos that are going to be available this year. That's the new insert set and the new classics inserts. That's a new one for 2022. And the heart of the city inserts and autos. You can see what the auto looks like over there with Bryce Harper. Very cool card, especially on a chromium design. And new for this year, we've got those Topps Chrome Authentics relics and auto relics now those actually have the little sticker that tells you exactly what game the relic is from so really cool there and of course the chrome rookie autos always sought after in the set we also have the 1987 tops baseball autos pretty nice checklist right there and new for this year we have the veteran chrome autos so what are the parallels? Obviously with Topps Chrome, we get a ton of them. We'll start with the refractor. You're gonna find those one in three packs. The prism refractor, one in six packs. The X-Fractor, that's available in that mega box only. Then we've got sepia and pink available in the blaster boxes. Then we got the negative refractors. And I believe the black and white mini diamond refractors, which should be in those light boxes, which were kind of teased on Topps' social media sites. Those are only going to be in the light box. Then we get to our numbered ones. We've got Magenta to 399, Magenta Sparkle to 350, Purple Speckle to 299, Purple Refractor to 250, Aqua Refractor to 199. You can see what that looks like with the Jaron Duran over on the right. The Aqua Lava to 199, which actually is the Jaron Duran. You've got the blue to 150, the green to 99, green wave to 99, blue wave to 75, gold refractor to 50, gold wave refractor to 50. The orange refractor only available in hobby boxes, numbered to 25. You do get an orange wave also to 25. Then you've got red and red wave to 5. Super Fractors and the printing plates, which are one of one. So a ton of different parallels, obviously kind of what Chrome is known for. So tons that we're going to be chasing on the parallel rainbow for 2022. So what are the different inserts? Let's cover off real quick. We've got the 1987 Topps baseball insert. You can see what that looks like over on the right with the Shohei. 20 cards in the set. They're going to land one in six packs with a five color parallel rainbow. We've got those base card image variations, 20 cards in that set. And then you've got a weird parallel breakdown here of green speckle, gold speckle, orange speckle, red speckle, and super fractor. We've got future stars, which is a staple of the set, 15 cards in that subset with a green, gold, orange, red parallel breakdown and the heart of the city. That's got 15 cards in it, one in 16 packs. We've got a green, gold, orange, red, and Super Fractor parallel breakdown as well. We have more inserts. We have the new classics. 15 cards in that set lands one in 12 packs with a small parallel rainbow. And we've got Pinstriped, very cool set that you can see over there on the right with the Mookie Betts card. Going to be a pretty tough pull. They land one per hobby box, 25 cards in the set with a grass green speckle only available in retail, champagne gold speckle, orange pearl speckle, candy apple red speckle, and a super fractor one of one. So those should be really interesting parallels coming out of that insert. Then, of course, we have the super short prints. There's going to be five cards. Very tough pulls right there. We also have the relics. Not tons to cover off on here, but new for 2022, we've got the Topps Chrome Authentics. They're only available in Hobby. 35 cards in the subset, and we do get a small parallel rainbow. 
Now for the autographs. Very important in Topps Chrome 2022. Autographs always a very big deal in this set. We start with the 1987 Topps baseball autos. There's going to be 12 cards in the set. Varied number on those with a tough parallel breakdown of orange, red, super fractor, and printing plate. And then, of course, the Chrome rookie autos. We're at 107 cards in that subset, down from 133 last year. A huge parallel breakdown. You can see what they look like on the right with the Wander Franco. So tons of different parallels that we can get. Little bit smaller of the rookie autos on the amount of cards for 2022 than in 2021. But they've added the Chrome Veteran autos this year, which has 47 cards. Big parallel rainbow breakdown. So we're going to see veteran autos, not just rookie card autos in 2022. My knock on the veteran autos would have liked to have seen some bigger marquee names on that checklist, but it does have 47 cards in the checklist, and you can see what the parallel rainbow looks like on screen. We've got more autos. We've got the dual rookie autos. Only two cards in that subset this year. They are numbered to 25 each, and you can't get a red and super fractor parallel. We've got the Future Stars autos, six cards in that subset, varied numbering on those with a tough parallel four-color rainbow. And the Heart of the City autos, we saw that what that looked like with the Bryce Harper earlier. There's 11 cards in the subset. They're each numbered to 99 and have the parallel breakdown you can see on screen. We also have the Pinstriped autos, 17 cards in that subset, varied numbering on the cards with that tough parallel rainbow as well. And finally, we have autographed relics. We've got the Topps Chrome Authentic Autos. There's going to be 15 cards in that subset, and the varied numbering occurs again on those. You can see what it looks like with the Mike Trout would be an awesome pull over there on the right. So don't forget, we now know what's in the set. We're going to be giving away two of those Topps Chrome Jumbo Boxes on Wednesday, September 21st at 8 p.m., 5 p.m. Pacific. Remember, super simple to get in. Click the invite link in the video description below, and when you do, Whatnot's going to give you 10 bucks just for signing up. Then what you want to do is bookmark the Whatnot live stream. There's a link in the video description for that. Be sure to follow my channel, that's one underscore cent underscore SC on whatnot. And then all you got to do is tune in on Wednesday, September 21st for your chance to win tops Chrome Jumbo Packs from not one, but two boxes, 24 packs total. So be there, guys. Be sure to click the links in the video description below. So with all that being said, what are the good break teams in 2022 Topps Chrome. Well, like I said, I'm going to give you six of them, and I'm going to start with what I think is the best team, which that team is the Tampa Bay Rays. They've got nine different cards in their base set checklist. They've got four different rookie cards and five inserts. They've got two image variations, one super short print image variation, and six autos. Now, I picked the Rays because Wander Franco has two different autos in the set, and he's got two of those image variation cards, one of those being that SSP. You also get some other big rookie names in here. Vidal Brujan, Shane Baz, Josh Lowe all have autos in the set. Now, I know we've got those short prints, and Wander Franco isn't one of them, but I believe you're going to get Wander Franco more often, and there's more that the Rays are offering than some of those short print teams are. So for me, I picked the Tampa Bay Rays. They might not even be the most expensive team. They're going to be expensive in a pick your team break, but they might not be the top one. It might be the Mariners because of that Julio Rodriguez short print. But smart money is going to be on the Tampa Bay Rays here. And so that's why I've got them as my top rated team. If you get them in a random team break, hold them all day long. If you can find them kind of cheap, like top three price maybe, and like the not even the most expensive one in the set, Buy all day long on a pick your team. I think this is going to be a great spot for you to buy into the Rays. If you're looking for the most autos, though, go look at the Cincinnati Reds. They're tied with the Astros, but I think the Reds are the better of the two teams here. The Reds have 10 base cards, three rookie cards, 
one rookie card short print, five inserts, one image variation card, and 13 different autos. Now they do have one of those rookie card short prints. That's Hunter Green, but you're also looking for Nick Lodolo, who has just come out as a rookie card himself. We've got Jonathan India autos, Joey Votto autos. So a lot of good autos on the checklist. The Reds are going to be a very good team, surprising team, and probably top five most expensive teams, but I think you've got a lot of content here. So if you get them in a pick your team break, you're going to have to pony up a little bit, but I think you'll get a nice return on your investment there. Might be a sneaky team to trade for in a random team break if you can make trades there because the Reds might fall under the radar. Almost a little bit of a sleeper team for those that aren't paying attention. So if you can trade in a random team break, you might want to do that. If you get them in a random team break, don't be the guy that trades them away. If you're looking for the most rookie cards, go look at the Pittsburgh Pirates. The Pittsburgh Pirates got eight base cards. Six of those are rookie cards. They've got one insert, one image variation, one super short print image variation, and seven autos. The guy we're going to be chasing here the most O'Neill Cruz. He's got one auto in the checklist, but he also has those two image variations, one of them being a super short print. So O'Neill Cruz here, he's kind of the play here, but you can't get Cabrian Hayes autos, Rowancy Contreras autos. That's another one of the rookies you'd be looking for. And a few other rookies. If some of those hit, that's great. I believe that they're a decent team to buy. Probably going to be a top 10 most expensive in your in a pick your team break. If you like O'Neill Cruz, like what he's offering, might be worth buying in there. If if you're not big on O'Neill Cruz, probably steer clear of the Pirates. But if you hit him in a random team break, you're doing good. I would keep him. Uh, I don't think a lot of people are going to be willing to trade the Pirates because of the O'Neill Cruz chase. But if you can make the trade, make the trade. Depends on what team you got. But overall, the Pittsburgh Pirates, not a bad team at all. If you're looking for a solid choice, go look at the Kansas City Royals. I'm picking the Royals because they got six base cards, two rookie cards, the one rookie card short print. That's going to be the Bobby Witt Jr. You've got two inserts, three relics, and 11 autos. Obviously, the big card here is going to be the Bobby Witt Jr. He's got an auto and he's got that short print rookie card. But there's also more here. You've got uh, MJ Melendez is in there. Uh, you've got Rivera, Whit Merrifield. You've got Salvador Perez autos. So a lot of good autos that you could actually pull out of here. And I just think that Bobby Witt is undervalued right now. Bobby Witt's numbers are almost identical to Julio Rodriguez's numbers. But for whatever reason, his cards are going for like half as much. So the Royals still going to be an expensive team and a pick your team break. Don't get me wrong, but I would go with the Royals over the Mariners price-wise in a pick your team break. That's just me. If you're big on Julio Rodriguez, I get why you're going to go after him. Great card to go after. But I think Bobby Witt has a higher ceiling when it's all said and done. So the Royals, I think, are going to be a solid choice here. So don't sleep on them. If you get them in a random team break, again, keep them. Don't think you're going to be able to trade for them. But you might be able to trade for my first sleeper, the Toronto Blue Jays. Now with the Blue Jays, you've got nine base cards, six inserts, one image variation, two relics, and nine autos. Now you'll notice they don't have any rookie cards, but they do on the auto checklist. You've got Kevin Smith, you've got Otto Lopez, and you've got some big veteran autos that you can get out of here, which is probably the best team for veteran autos. You've got Alec Manoa, who is having a Cy Young caliber season, George Springer, Vladimir Guerrero has a few autos that you can get in here. So don't sleep on the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays probably not even a top 15 price wise in a pick your team. If you can get them cheap, buy them. You're chasing the veteran autos and a couple smaller rookie autos, but they've got plenty of autos in here with nine. If you don't get them in a random team break and you don't like the team you got, try and trade for the Jays. The Jays have not been a very good team all 2022, but they kind of have a, some nice content here. You might be able to trade almost any team for them to people that are used to saying, ah, the Blue Jays aren't that good in 2022. So definitely, definitely, definitely don't sleep on the Blue Jays. For my second sleeper, you've got the Brew Crew, the Milwaukee Brewers. They've got six base cards, two rookie cards, three inserts, four relics, and a surprising amount of autos with 11. 
You're looking for Jake Cousins, uh, Aaron Ashby, Brandon Woodruff has autos in here, Christian Yelich. Plus, they've got a lot of different relics. They've got almost as many relics as uh, like the best team. I think the best team's the Yankees. They've got like six or seven relics. They've got four relics in here, and those relics are the actual like authentic relics, which tell you what game the relic is from. Very cool relics if you can hit them. So the Milwaukee Brewers, just a ton of content, some decent names on the auto checklist. Again, I don't think they're going to be that expensive in a pick your team. I think you're pretty safe to say you're going to get a decent return on your investment. If you get them in a, in a random team break, go ahead and keep them. I think you'll do just fine with the Brewers. So those are my six teams. Let me know in the comments below who you think the best teams are, who what teams you're going to be chasing in breaks. I love to respond to a lot of the comments that people post that are worth responding to. So let me know in the comments below. But how good are all 30 teams? Well, this is where the break team cheat sheet comes in. And what I do here is I tier all the teams out into three different tiers. The top tier being the teams that I think are the best teams that are going to return consistently. Then you've got those middle tier teams, which, hey, they're not bad. They got content. They might hit or miss. And then that bottom tier, which are teams I would recommend to steer clear of in breaks. So let's start with the top tier. We've got the Tampa Bay Rays is my favorite team. The Angels here, I believe, are a really good team as well. They've got seven base cards. They've got two rookie cards. They've got nine different autos. And they've got Mike Trout, Shohei Otani. You're going to have a lot of the rookies. You've got Reed Detmer's autos. You've got Brandon Marsh autos in there. So the Angels are a really good team. We've got those Reds in there. Obviously, J-Rod with the Mariners. Just some really nice teams. But also don't sleep on the Nationals in Tier 1. They've got 10 different autos. Nationals is another one of those teams that have not been that good in 2022. Might be a team that you want to target in a random team break for a trade. And another one that I think on Pick Your Team would be pretty good. You've got Juan Soto, some smaller rookie autos in there. But they've got a lot of content. I'm putting them in the top tier. For our second tier teams. Well, you can already see what one of my third tier teams is down there with the Cubs, but we'll cover off on the second tier teams right now. Let's see. On here, we've got the Minnesota Twins. They've got eight different autos in the set. They've got two rookie cards. Royce Lewis is in the set, so you might want to target the Twins. You've got the New York Yankees, which have been in the top tier on most of the sets in 2022, but I got to drop them down because the Yankees, they have seven base cards. They've got one rookie card but they've only got five autos. They've actually got a ton of relics though. They do have seven of those relics, but only five autos. So if you're a fan of the Yankees, maybe buy into them. Probably the cheapest you're going to be able to find the Yankees because the Yankees are great in most other sets. But here they fall off a little bit. Rounding it out, the Orioles are surprising that they are up in the second tier along with the Guardians who have eight autos in the set. The Guardians are another team that has been real bad in 2022 sets. But here I move them up into the second tier. For our third tier... We've got more teams than I would like to see down here, but keep in mind, it's kind of a condensed set with only 225 cards. The Rockies, not good. Six base cards, one rookie card, and only two autos in the set. We've also got the Cubs. They've only got five base cards, one insert, and three autos themselves. Surprised that the A's are down here. They've only got four base cards, three inserts, and three autos. The Pittsburgh Pirates... I could make a case for them to be up in the second tier because of O'Neill Cruz, but they're just not offering a ton. I could put them in the second tier, but I'm going to keep them down in the third tier here because I think they're going to be expensive for the buy-in, but they do have a ton of different rookie cards. If you're willing to pay the premium for the O'Neill Cruz stuff, I could see them being in the second tier, but I think because of price-wise, I got to put them down in the third tier. So let me know if you think I've got them too low, let them, I got them too high in the comments below. Would love to hear what you guys think about the break team cheat sheet. So that's what brings us to our one cent sensational set rating, where we're going to find out how good Topps Chrome really is. The sensational set rating is the most in-depth rating system you're going to find anywhere on the internet. What I do is I break the set down into 10 different categories. Each category is going to be worth 1 to 10 points. Then what I do is add up all of those points, which gives us our final sensational set rating score using the scale that you see below. Then what I do is I compare the 2022 Topps Chrome set 
with other scores from past seasons, Tops Chrome, so 2021 and 2020. Then finally, we wrap it all up where we compare all of the 2022 sets against Tops Chrome to see where it ranks in this year's card collecting season. So let's get to our categories. We're going to start with the peel. Now, the appeal of Topps Chrome, it's an uber popular set. I go ahead and give it a 9. The reason it's not a 10 is it's a little expensive this year. The price has really gone up in Chrome in the last couple years. So there's some people, not many, but a few, that have been turned off because of the price. So I go ahead and give it a 9. For our base set checklist, it's missing a couple names. I think the biggest name it's missing is Spencer Strider as a rookie card. But for the most part... They've got all the big rookies that you're going to want to be chasing. They've kept a couple names off because remember, Topps Chrome update comes out a little later in the year. But overall, for the base set checklist, I like it. I'm going to give it an 8.5. Now, the auto checklist, I'm only going to give a 6.5. I would have loved to have gone higher. We do have a little bit smaller of a rookie card checklist in 2022 over 2021, which I like. However, we added in the veteran autos and the veteran auto checklist, not good, not good at all. I've not a lot of marquee names on there. You do have Juan Soto, Alec Manoa. There are some big names, but overall, a lot of those autos are not going to be worth all that much. And considering the buy-in price that Topps Chrome is in 2022, would have liked to have seen a better veteran auto checklist. However, most of the rookies that you're looking for, they've all got autos in here, which is fantastic. Some of those insert autos are really nice. They've got some big names. So overall, I give it a 6.5. For the inserts, the parallels and variations, I think this is where Topps Chrome 2022 really shines. They've got some fantastic inserts. That pinstriped insert is awesome looking. Big parallel rainbow, big chases on all of those. We do get the short print image variations and even some super short print image variations. We've even got relics this year, which is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine. For our production run and our pack odds, look, it's one of the biggest sets. It's being produced a lot this year. I believe it's being produced around the same numbers that it was last year, maybe a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and give it a three. It's just got a ton. It's in retail. It's all over the place. Very popular. So I give it a three. For our card quality, Topps Chrome is a fantastic card quality. Hopefully the quality control stays up. That's always kind of been an issue in the last couple of years with Tops, But overall, the card quality, really nice. I'm going to go ahead and give it an 8.5. For historical value, not many sets more valuable than Tops Grow. Maybe Bowman and Bowman Draft, stuff like that. But overall, if you can hit some of the big autos of the rookie cards in a parallel version, these cards hold tons of value on the secondary market. So I'm going to give it a 9.5. For our cost value, which is, hey, if it costs me 300, 400 bucks for a hobby box, what am I getting back on that? I'm going to go ahead and give it a four, and that might even be a little bit too high this year. But I'm going to give it a four because you do get the two autos on a set that is very popular on the secondary market. And if you hit some of these bigger cards, I do believe that you can make your money back, even with the increased prices in 2022. I believe it even more so with the jumbo packs. Those are the ones I'm giving away on whatnot. So overall, some of the boxes, yes, are you going to get a lesser rookie auto that maybe isn't worth that much? Yes, it can happen. And are you going to get your money back on that for the $300, $400 buy-in? The answer to that is no. There is going to be some duds, but there's also going to be some bangers. But overall, I'm going to go ahead and give cost value a four. For the artistic value, in the past, I actually have not given the, a very high score to Topps Chrome for this. But this year, because of that pinstripe, because of the new classics insert, and because they're doing the relics, I think they've pushed the envelope here a little bit. And some of these inserts look real nice. I do like the 2022 design. I think it's going to be great with the Topps Chrome Chromium finish. So I'm going to go ahead and give the artistic value an 8 and finally, for collectability, that's where we say, don't worry about how much the cards cost. Don't worry how much, worry about how much the value is in them. Just how fun is Topps Chrome to collect? Well, that is awesome. 
I go ahead and give it a nine because Topps Chrome is just a very cool set to collect. It's a very cool set to have in your collection. Very nice PC cards, kind of a staple because it's been around for so long. So collectability wise, I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine. And don't forget, guys. We are giving away two Topps Chrome Jumbo Boxes with Whatnot on Wednesday, September 21st at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific. I'm doing my first ever Whatnot stream, and the only thing we're going to be doing on it is giving away 24 Topps Chrome Jumbo Packs. If you want to win, it's real easy. Sign up for Whatnot using the link in the video description below, and when you do, they're going to give you 10 bucks just for signing up. Then you got to bookmark my whatnot live stream. You'll see it right there on my channel. It's the one underscore cent underscore SC channel. There's a link for that live stream video in the video description below. Then from there, all you do is tune in on Wednesday, September 21st at 8 p.m. We're going to give all 24 packs away. I hope to see you guys there. Thanks to whatnot for letting me do the promotion and partnering with me on that. It's going to be fun, guys. I hope to see you there. So that's what's bringing us to our one cent sensational set rating where we find out how good Topps Chrome really is. And for 2022, Topps Chrome comes in at a one cent sensational set rating score of 75. So it's a very good set, not sensational. A little disappointed in the veteran auto checklist, but outside of that, it's offering a lot. We got all the big rookies. It's going to be a little bit of a chase because of the short prints, but we do have five of them. So I like that CJ Abrams is in there. I like that we've got Hunter Green in there. Obviously the big three, but don't sleep on Wander. We've got all the big rookies. That's fantastic. Some very cool different inserts. Overall, just a really fun set. I do believe it lives up to its hype. I do believe that it might be a little too expensive, but overall, it's going to be a fun one for 2022. In 2021, Topps Chrome actually came in a little bit higher at an 80. But I do think that I had that scored a little bit too high last year. Probably was more in line with what it is here in 2022. In 2020, Topps Chrome had a score of 76. So you can see Topps Chrome kind of always is a very good set. It doesn't quite push it to sensational because of the pack runs and production odds. But overall, you guys, it's Topps Chrome. If you don't like Topps Chrome, you probably shouldn't be collecting baseball cards because it's one of the biggest sets. So how does 2022 Topps Chrome rank out of all of the sets that have come out in 2022 so far? Well, it comes in second out of 21 sets at a score of 75. It is the only set that is close to Bowman Baseball, which came out way earlier in the season. Bowman still leading the way at 78. Topps Museum Collection, which just came out a week or two ago, that actually is a little bit of a surprise there at 71, but an awesome set. It's more of a high-end set, so that rounds out our top three. Panini, which has Immaculate coming out the same day as Topps Chrome, has one that could be entering into the top 10. Look for that set guide and review here in a couple days. But Panini does only have one set in the top 10 right now, and that would be Panini Select with a 63.5. But our baseball card collecting season sets are really starting to bubble up to the top. Our top 10 is filled with all very good sets. Still waiting on it. Our first sensational set. We'll see if we can get that here pretty soon. And with that, guys, let me know what you think about Topps Chrome in the video description below. Are you buying in? Are you staying away? Are you going for singles? Would love to hear your comments on Topps Chrome. If you haven't done so already, be sure to throw over to first, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, and don't forget, we're giving away 24 free jumbo packs on whatnot. Look at the video description below for all those links to figure out how you can get in. And with that, guys, I hope as you're out there in the wild looking for Topps Chrome, you are able to find it on the shelves. And when you do, I hope you hit some fire in those packs. And as always, be good to your family, be good to your friends, be good to your neighbors, and most importantly, take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching. We'll do it again soon.